You're sitting at home, watching your favorite TV show, or maybe you're cooking dinner. The rain starts pouring, the wind picks up, and then, boom, the power goes out, again. And of course, it had to happen at the worst possible time. But have you ever stopped to ask yourself why? What is it about rain that seems to bring power to a standstill? Is it just the wet power lines? Is it lightning? Or could there be a bigger reason? The answer might surprise you. While rain and lightning can sometimes play a role, one of the biggest yet most overlooked reasons for power outages during rainy weather is trees near power lines. Yes, trees. When it rains, strong winds push tree branches onto power lines. These branches, now dripping wet, become conductors of electricity, leading to short circuits and sudden power failures. And if a tree completely falls, that's when the real nightmare begins. Widespread blackouts, hours or even days without electricity, and expensive damage to power infrastructure. The solution is simple. If you see trees growing too close to power lines or branches touching them, report it immediately. Call your nearest power supplier so that they can trim the trees before they bring down the power supply. But trees aren't the only reason power goes off when it rains. Lightning strikes are another major cause. When lightning directly hits a power line, transformer or substation, it can overload the system, triggering automatic shutdowns to protect the network. While this type of outage is unavoidable, power companies install lightning arresters to minimize the damage. Water short-circuiting electrical components is another hidden culprit. While power lines are designed to withstand harsh weather, heavy rain can seep into transformers, insulators, and underground cables, leading to electrical faults. In estates and residential areas, residents can help by ensuring that drainage systems are well-maintained to prevent water from pooling around underground power lines. Standing water can cause short circuits, which lead to outages that can take hours or even days to fix. Strong winds and storms also play a role. Have you ever seen power lines swinging violently during a storm? That movement can lead to wires touching, sparking, or even breaking. Worse still, strong winds often bring down trees or branches, which then fall onto power lines. Once again, this is why it's so important to report any trees that are dangerously close to power infrastructure. Flooding of underground power systems is another major reason power goes off when it rains. Many urban areas have power cables buried underground. While this helps protect them from wind and falling objects, excessive flooding can cause electrical faults. Homeowners and estate managers can help prevent this by ensuring proper drainage and avoiding dumping waste into stormwater drains, which can clog the system and lead to waterlogging around electrical infrastructure. Heavy rain increasing electrical conductivity is another lesser known but serious issue. When rainwater mixes with dust, pollution, and debris, it can create an unintended path for electricity to travel. If water bridges the gap between power lines and other surfaces, it can cause a dangerous short circuit, leading to power shutdowns. Finally, sometimes the power company itself turns off the electricity as a safety precaution. If there is severe weather, fallen poles, or reports of sparking power lines, utility companies may cut power in certain areas to prevent electrocution or fire hazards. This is done to protect lives and property, and power is only restored once the situation is safe. Now that you know the truth, let's work together to keep our power lines clear and our homes well lit. If you see trees touching power lines, report them. If you live in an estate or a gated community, ensure that drainage is well done to prevent water from flooding underground cables. Every small action we take can help keep the lights on. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. There's so much more to learn, and we'll keep breaking down all the why questions you've always wanted answers to, right here on the Why Corner.